Normally I would say welcome back to Epically Latered, but this is Epically Latered YouTube channel. Um, which feels weird, vlogging. But I um, fired this up. I had to find my um, old email address to even find access to this page. But uh, what happened was um, last week, people were texting me like, Vice has gone under or Vice is dead or whatever on Thursday. And we had started this new season and filmed tons of episodes. We're like ahead by months of, on episodes. I, don't know, I was just kind of freaked out. I was like, where do I put them? Like, what happens if if the rug's pulled? And uh, so I, yeah, dusted off this YouTube and started uploading things. And, you know, just uploading random episodes I have on a hard drive. You know, random videos I had on a hard drive. Some of them which are on this page that aren't anywhere else. Mostly just for posterity. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this page, but it was just like a, I feel like that's like a placeholder for if, if things went bad, we could put the episodes here. Um, but yeah, there's obviously like no views, no subscribers, whatever, but uh, we'll see. But then I talked to Vice yesterday and um, we can keep doing the show, or at least to, I wasn't planning on making 30, 40 more episodes, but we at least have this like season, I guess, or, or chunk of somewhere between like six more and like eight more. I don't know. We have we have a bunch in various stages of completion, and um, but it sounds like they're all going to go on Vice. There were like layoffs at Vice, and people um, people on my um, team that got like some of the editors are laid off. It really sucks, but um, it sounds like we can get the ones we've shot at least out, and hopefully, if it does well, we can put out more, and I won't have to resort to uh, putting them up here, or whatever. Um, but usually when, when things like hit the fan, I've noticed when you get like your back against the wall, it motivates you to kind of like clean house on things you should have done anyway, which I probably should have had a epically later YouTube channel anyway, just for, um, random old interviews and things I could po uh, post or just a place. Because one of the things I was just, I was tripping on because we I went through the hard drive and found old interviews and I found a couple interviews that were like really good, like could have been his own episode or could have been, you know, it's just like, it doesn't, not that it doesn't quite work, but it just wasn't an episode. Actually, I pulled up an interview with Paulo Diaz and it's so, or I think it's good. And I also think Paulo Diaz is kind of like a, a it's like a god for my generation because he was so interesting and creative unusual back when when things were pretty like regimented like everyone kind of skated the same at some point and i'm not everyone skated exactly the same but he just stood out as like a unique individual and character and so um i i um cut together or i'm starting to cut together apollo diaz interview that i put on the youtube channel just so i'm gonna try it maybe with apollo diaz interview um, and I wasn't going to put any archival up over it because I'm watching, I'm listening to him talking. I'm like, oh, this is where I'd put the, um, the band, this footage. This is where I'd put, you know, goldfish, whatever, like chocolate part. I was like, it's pretty good just listening to him talk. You can just open up the window next door with the archival footage. But, uh, my priority is the show over on Vice. Um, the next episode is... March 15th, and it's completely finished. Like, I've watched the thing. So anyway, I just wanted to post this to let everyone know what the hell this channel is. I, maybe I can get the Paulo Diaz episode. Or not Paulo Diaz, the Paulo Diaz raw, I don't know what I'm gonna call them, like raw tape or something, up. You know, even tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, I'll, uh, maybe I'll post one of these semi-regularly, because maybe it's fun. Uh, thanks.